good morning, uh, everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Ibrahim Fauzi. Uh, I'm the ECMO Program Director at Hamid Medical Corporation in Qatar. It's a pleasure uh, to be here with you in London, uh, in Europe also. A uh, fantastic event. <clears throat> and I had the pleasure today uh, to discuss uh, the winning strategy on uh, VV ECMO. Uh, we summarize uh, the process uh, of the uh, VV ECMO winning. Uh, we explore a bit on the um, uh, selection patient criteria for, for winning. Went through the, um, the uh, timeline and the course. Uh, and then we uh, move, uh, moved on to the assessment of the native lung function. How would you do that um, on VV ECMO? Uh, we explored a bit on the uh, oxygen transfer through the membrane lung uh, and through the native lung. Uh, we discussed the CO2 elimination. Um, we moved um, to, toward the um, work of breathing as a, as a variable that need to be monitored during the ECMO weaning. Um, and we discussed briefly on the decision to decannulate. Um, we also reviewed um, the challenge, uh, deoxygenation challenge test. We spoke about um, DCO2 um, um, challenge test. We talked about the ECMO challenge test um, uh, for, um, for the weaning uh, to assess uh, the readiness of the patient to be uh, weaned from uh, the VV ECMO. Um, and then we spend a bit of time on the decannulation and the anticipation of problems after decannulation, preparing the patient and the family uh, and the scene for this process of withdrawal of ECMO and uh, the ECMO team as well.